Hi everybody, I am so excited to make this video today for the Buckeye Book Fair. I have been participating in the Buckeye Book Fair for the last 10 years. It's my favorite event every year. Um, and I'm sorry that this year, because of the circumstances, we can't all be together in Worcester. However, uh, I was asked to make this video and talk to you today about some of my books that will be avail available at the book fair. Now, my name is Amanda Flower. I am a cozy mystery author from the state of Ohio, and um, I have written the gamut of cozy mysteries, everything from Amish to magic. So today at the Buckeye Book Fair and over the next few days of the, of the virtual fair, you'll see a number of panels and other things happening. Uh, I will be on a panel with other mystery authors, and I am also going to talk to you today about the books that will be available through the book fair that you can purchase. So uh, some of the series that you will see returning to the book fair this year are the um, Magic Garden series set in Scotland. So the paperback of Death and Daisies came out and then uh, Mums and Mayhem came out in hardcover uh, just a few weeks ago. So these two books um, are based in Scotland and are about a magical garden with an enchanted rose in the middle of it that helps our sleuth, who's a transplant from Nashville, to um, solve the crimes that are happening in this little Scottish town. They're really fun to write and there is a fun a fox character in the story. Um, I'm not going to tell you if he's a familiar or not, but as you read the story, I want you to pay, pay close attention to him because he's a very important uh, character and his storyline is kind of completed uh, in the third book, which is Mums and Mayhem. So you'll want to check that out. In addition to the magic series that I write, of course, uh, I am best known for Amish Mysteries. And I have been writing Amish mysteries for the last 10 years. And um, I've really enjoyed them and I've written a ton of them. However, my current series are the Amish Candy Shop series. Uh, Marshmallow Malice was the one that came out this summer. Uh, this is the longest running series I've ever had. Uh, so it's really fun to really get in and know characters so, so well. And then there's the spin-off series. I almost dropped the book which is the Amish Matchmaker series. And this series uh, is a little bit different than anything I've written. In the past, uh, always in my books, the protagonist was non-Amish moving to an Amish community. In this case, my main character is a 76-year-old Amish widow um, who happens to be the village matchmaker. So I think when you're reading this series, these two companion series, um, notice how different they are from each other, even though they're set in the same world of Harvest, Ohio, which is in a fictional town I made up, but put in Holmes County, very close to Berlin. So we're all familiar with the area. Um, a fun thing uh, to know, Lemon Drop Dead uh, will be coming out next spring, and it is set primarily in Wayne County. Um, so that, of course, is the county that Wooster's in. So you might be interested in that as well. For the Amish Matchmaker and the Candy Shop series, you will see plenty of Jethro the Pig, who is on the cover of all of the candy books. Um, so my editor loved him so much that she said he had to be in the crossover series, even if he's just making a cameo. So he's in this book. He's in all the books set in Harvest. Uh, I can't really have a Harvest book without Jethro, so don't be alarmed uh, that he might not be there because I know he's beloved among my readers. And then something new. So uh, as you know, if you follow me, I write a lot of books um, and they're all mysteries. And the something new is not um, the fact that it's not a mystery. Of course it's a mystery, that's what I do. But this year I released my first uh, Private Eye mystery and it came out from Hallmark Publishing and it's called Dead End Detective. Now what I want you to know about this book, it's still an Amanda Flower book. So it's not going to be scary or um, dark or anything like that. But the big difference is my protagonist 
uh, Darby is a private detective. Uh, there's some advantages of that when you're writing mystery novels. I don't have to make up a reason for her to want to get involved in a murder investigation uh, because it's her job. And I also don't have to make up some kind of relationship between her and the police because it's her job to work with the police uh, to solve crimes in her area. It's set in the Finger Lakes of New York. Um, just because I didn't want it a different setting. I have set, of course, I set the Scottish book in Scotland, but primarily I've written books set in the state of Ohio. So I just wanted to write something a little bit different. Um, the reviews have been of it have been really good, um, and people seem to be receptive, even though it's a little bit, um, I would say the protagonist is a little bit more sarcastic than some of my other characters. Uh, she has a little bit sharper tongue. She's a private eye. She's seen some things. So I would say um, that would be the big difference. And I would uh, ask you when you're reading this book to think how is this cozy-ish private eye different from a traditional cozy? So if you read cozy mysteries uh, a lot, you'll be able to pick up those differences. Behind me, <laughs> I just have to point out, is my cat, Mr. Tumnus, also Tummy. Uh, is he is known by so um, I love to connect with you on social media if you could um, see me on Facebook uh, just uh, type in my name Amanda Flower or you can also put in facebook.com um, author Amanda Flower and I will come up uh, you can also find it through my website amandaflower.com um, in addition to that you can follow my cats like Tummy I also have Reap a Cheap, known as Cheeps, on Instagram. They have their own Instagram account. Um, and, you know, because I think they're way more interesting as he's obviously getting into something behind me than I am. So I hope you all have a wonderful day. Thank you for participating in the virtual book fair. We all hope to see you next year back in Worcester. And we can't wait for that to come.